What's up? So I made it back from SHOT Show, and I wanted to put together my top 10 guns that I saw at SHOT Show, got to put my hands on, and I added a few dishonorable and honorable mentions in there too. So let's get to the list. Now first is my dishonorable mention. Now this is the kel P-15. This is their new metal frame, optic ready, 9mm striker fired handgun. Now, when I first saw this gun, I was surprised because it actually didn't look bad. Well, for a kel anyways. But then I pulled the trigger, and it was an immediate disappointment. The reset on the trigger was all the way out, and it was just a pretty terrible trigger all around, so it was a hard pass for me, especially with a $700 price tag. Now, they also offer this in a polymer frame version, and that's supposed to be a couple hundred cheaper, I believe. <sighs> Next is just a mention. The Ounce Pistol from 3rd Bay LLC now, this is a 10-round semi-auto 22 long rifle that folds and the barrel retracts. It's actually kind of a neat gun, but when he told me the MSRP was $899, it kind of left me a little speechless. There are too many better options at half of that price. But there will be a link below in the description if you want to check out the interview I did with him at SHOT. Now for my honorable mention. This is the PSA Micro Dagger. This one was pretty neat. It's a Glock 43X-ish size carry version of the dagger. It uses proprietary 15 round PSA mags. Uh, it's optic cut and had the rear sight in front of the optic. It felt like a nice little gun, felt good in the hand. So we'll see how that one goes. Number 10 is gonna be the PSA Rock, which is basically a dagger in 5.7. And it has 23 round magazines. And the biggest thing about this one is the price. The standard model is gonna come in at 499 while the threaded barrel optic cut version is coming in at just $549. Number nine, the Taurus G3X, which is basically the G3C slide with the grip of a G3, giving you 15 rounds. But the best part about this is Taurus finally figured out that a lot of people, myself included, don't want a manual safety on their carry gun, which is one of the things I actually liked about the little GX4 that I got. The MSRP on the G3X is $342.98. Number eight is another one from Taurus. They've introduced a 327 Federal Magnum Revolver, which is offered in blue or stainless with a two or three inch barrel. This one excites me because it's gonna make the 327 round much more affordable to get into. With these guns, the MSRP is gonna start at 371.05 for the blued and 388.32 for the stainless. If you wanna find out more about these Taurus guns, I'll put a link in the description below to an interview one of my buddies did with Taurus at the show. Number seven. This one's pretty cool, especially if you have smaller kids. This is the Wii One Tactical JR-15. Now this is a 20% downsized AR, and it's chambered in 22 long rifle. It's made to be a first 22 for a younger child. Has a pretty neat safety feature on it, and the side that locks it out with just a turn of a switch on the other side of the safety. It comes with a single shot mag and a five round mag with 10 round bags available. This gun is very detailed. I mean, everything from the in-lock handguard, just all the way through. It's a very detailed, very nice looking gun. Adjustable stock, all that. And I'll put a link below to one of my buddy's videos that he did with them at SHOT Show. And the MSRP on this one was only $3.99, so that's not a bad price for that. Number six, the Trailblazer Firearms Pivot. Now, Trailblazer is the maker of the lifeguard pistol, and they decided to get into the pistol caliber carbine market and this is a 9mm carbine, and it's really neat because it pivots, so it makes it a smaller package when you want to put it in like a pack or something like that. And yes, it takes Glock mags. And this is another one. There'll be a link in the description below to a video one of my buddies did on this. Uh, the MSRP on this one is going to be a little high at $17.95, but it's a real neat option. Number five, the Smith & Wesson CSX-9. Now this is a metal framed, hammer fired, micro 9mm, has a 1911 style safety on it. And the trigger's more like a striker fired though. It's pretty heavy for a hammer fired single action gun. But it's a neat little gun, has all ambi controls, has a 12 round mag. The MSRP on this one is gonna be $609. Number four, the Canic SFX Rival. Now this is based on the Mete SFX with a few upgrades, including an aluminum magwell, some different slide serrations, adjustable sights, and it's supposed to have an even better trigger. And it did feel really good when I was dry firing it there at the show. This is another one, there'll be a link below to uh, interview one of my buddies did on this one. And the MSRP on the rival is $679. Number three, the Shadow Systems CR920. Now this is Shadow Systems entry into the Micro 9 market. 
this is a G43-ish size pistol. Uses Shadow Systems proprietary mags for a 10 plus 1 flush fit and a 13 plus 1 extended mag capacity. Now this gun shot very nice at range day and it feels extremely nice in the hand. And the CR920 has an MSRP of $679. Number 2. FN's new high power. This one really caught my eye. I'm a sucker for the classic looks and this is a very nice looking gun. Now, FN says they've improved upon the original design in several ways. It has a 17 plus 1 magazine capacity and is offered in three different finishes. It has a starting MSRP of $1,269. Number 1. The new Amp from Live Free Armory. Now, this is a compact size 9mm with an aluminum frame that uses 3rd gen Glock parts. I own several Live Free Armory slides and they have been top quality, so I can't wait to get my hands on this in the next few weeks. Now one of the features that sets the amp apart from all the other Glock clones is it uses a fire control unit, similar to that of the SIGs, but it still uses Glock Gen 3 triggers. The slide is optic cut for an RMR footprint and has a 15 round capacity. The even better part is the MSRP on it is only $699. If you want to learn more about this one, I did a video interview with Live Free Armory at the show, so be sure and check that out. There'll be a link in the description. All right, well, there's my top 10 list. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and if you enjoyed this video, make sure you share it out. That helps more than anything, and make sure you smash that thumbs up button, and if you think I've earned it, consider subscribing. We'll see you on the next one.